Hello and welcome to the Kubernetes native experience. So KN allows you to quickly ramp up um, and destroy environments, um, allows you to expose environments, and at the end of the day, it's something like a cloud native version of um, um, Vagrant if you want. So let's see, see it in action here. Um, help will list you commands. It's really just these five commands up, uh, down, uh, create and destroy environments, and connect that lets you jump into the environment, publish, which allows you to publish a certain environment, and ls, which is the default. So if I don't provide anything, I will list the environments. All right, let's first create an environment. So in the simplest case, I say k and up. I don't even need to specify anything. It would just use a default name called sandbox. So let's do that. k and up means uh, create an environment called sandbox. And it actually tells me what to do next, k and connect. But first, let's see what is there. The sandbox is there. Great. So let's actually connect to the sandbox connector. So connect sandbox, that's the same. And now I'm actually in. Um, in the environment, right? So, and have a look at etc. Release, and you see I'm here in that pod. Great. Okay, and ls on that sandbox here. Okay, cool. Now let's uh, destroy that sandbox environment again because we don't really need that. And uh, can we confirm that nothing there either? All right. Now let's do something a little bit more interesting, and that is to actually expose something. So let's um, say kn up test, and because um, the default behavior of kn is to also copy the content of the current directory um, into the environment, so in the directory temp work in the environment, I can now um, go like that and connect test. And I'm here, so if I now have a look at temp work, I see, for precise other examples, I see a web server here, right? That web server just uses netcat um, to essentially create a very simple uh, web server. For that, um, because I'm using a very simple base image, I first need to actually install uh, netcat. And while it's doing that, install uh, MC. While it's doing that, we're going to have a look at um, the publish command. So here I need to say, again, I need to give it the um, name of the environment and then which port in the environment has a certain service that I want to publish. So if I'm only doing that, um, can publish test 80. It will um, essentially do a port forward to this port 80 and I can look at it uh, on the local, um, the local machine. So let's Go ahead and hope that and see install is done soon. Yes, please. Yes, yes, yes. All right. And if I now execute um, work web server, now it's actually serving. And if I now publish it, all right. And now we can see this very simple web server uh, just echoing the, the data. Now that is nice, but what if you want to show up your wonderful um, little app to your colleagues? So if you set the publishing policy to public, so essentially using this um, environment variable, then publish test and that was 8080. 
then it will use any rock to publish it on the public web, on the public internet. Okay? So let's see, I'm getting that here and uh, I should now be able to see it public. And that is a URL that you can share with your friends. So within seconds, if you have ngrok installed, um, you can expose your little service to the outside world. All right, I hope you have fun with Ken and um, play around with it. Just a bunch of shell scripts really um, there. So uh, shouldn't be too hard to adapt to your needs. All right. Thanks a lot for watching.